Good morning. It's Johnny Sunshine. I don't know what day it is. What day is it? I think it's Wednesday. What is today? It is Wednesday, November 20th, 2024. Okay, so I'm fucking up to speed. It's Wednesday. November 20th, 2024, it's 8 o'clock in the morning, and all is well. <clears throat> uh, it's a little rainy today, guys. A little crappy here, but we needed it, man. It was very dusty, killing my eyes uh, from all the dead branches and leaves and shit uh, and the grass needed some watering so it's all good I don't know if I have any work today or not uh, <laughs> I gotta look through my phone I got a million messages and uh, twenty seven inch bicep guys 27 inch. Yeah. Don't fuck around. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> Johnny thinks he's a badass, man. I'm getting fucked up out here, man. Uh, I gotta say, man, this guy did a great fucking job. My pool hasn't looked this good in a long time. Fuck them people that were doing my pool. They were hit and run artists. You could tell they were just, especially her daughter who came every day, she just walked like she had a fucking stick up her ass. Uh, bad attitude. And I can just, I can sense her. Cause I have such a good attitude. Bella, uh, get your tail out of my plants. Come on, you're knocking my shit over, man. You guys destroy everything I have, man. Back up. Last night I gave them a concoction that was testing the limits of their anal strength to hold in a fucking explosive shit. And they lost. So I had about a quarter milk uh, left in a gallon of milk I sniffed it it was good but I wasn't gonna drink it so I put a bunch of dog food uh, in their container that I feed them in and I poured all the milk in there and I made them a bowl of cereal man I thought wow this ought to be delicious <laughs> for them well they fucking ate the whole thing man I mean they ate everything Lick the fucking bowl clean. And then an hour later, I gave them each a piece of pepperoni pizza just to make sure it was going to come out with a vengeance. <sighs> I don't know. I think Gussie's the one who exploded. Uh, I think he's the one who, who blew, but one of them did, and I got to clean it up today. It's my fault. It's been two months maybe since the last time they blew up in my house but thank god for bamboo flooring <laughs> son of a bitch man yeah I'm just I'm gonna give you a tech tip it smells for about a day or two, but it's a lot easier to clean up guys when it's dry just let the shit you know just ignore it for a couple of days Scrape it up, vacuum it, and you're all good. So I had a, a good talk with my sweetie in New York last night. I just love her, man. She's easy like Sunday morning, man. You know? And when you're around somebody that you... You don't have to act like you're somebody you're not, man. 
That's how she is, man. I just love her, man. She's 20 hours away by by car. Couple hours by plane, Jay Z. Couple hours there and a couple hours back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, uh, Johnny's lonely. It's easy like Sunday morning. We got to get into some fucking mail, man. We got to get into some hater mail. The Trumpers are still kicking me. I'm trying to get beyond this. Not really. All oh, handy hamby. What a fucking handle. Handy hamby. Trump back, baby. Yeah, yeah. I'll bet you are pretty handy, Hamby. <clears throat> so this guy, Philip Mills, he said that was painful to watch my video. <laughs> Most of them are. Yeah, I get it, man. You know, I'm not a fucking... There's always one guy in the crowd who's done it a million fucking times and he's got to say something. But, you know, I'm sure there are things that he's not uh, proficient in and he just stays quiet, you know. Good for you, man. Good for you. So I made a comment about Wagos yesterday, which is a joke. I'm not buying that shit. I'm still using the fucking same wire nuts I used fucking my whole career. Haven't had any issues, you know? Some people like these, anything that's got a little flash, you know? Flashy objects. Mikey Pipes is one of them guys, man. You know? Embrace whatever the fuck he says. Yeah, no way goes for Johnny Boy. So one guy commented, in, and I think it was the, the guy who said it was painful to watch. <clears throat> uh, he said, you know, when he gets to a job, if if the uh, ECO electric cutout is tripped, he said he just automatically replaces the uh, thermostats. He doesn't. You know, they're cheap, man. I mean, that whole kit only costs like 27 bucks, man. For two thermostats and two elements. So rebuild the whole fucking heater. And just tell the people, you know, you got basically a brand new heater. I get it. Next time. Next time. But I can tell you that it's it's been 30 years since I found a fucking heater that had a... Uh, and I know I was working... It's more than 30 uh, I was working for Terry's Plumbing. I went to a job. People said the water work was hot as hell, and then it just stopped. And it's cold. And I opened it up, and the and the button was pushed out. Needed to be reset, but it did its job. These parts are very, very uh, reliable. Tank type water heaters are very, very simple, reliable. And uh, I would never put a tankless in my house, man. It's just too much bullshit, man. I don't see any any upside to it. Endless hot water. Well, I don't need endless hot water. I take a fucking five-minute shower. And I, I even actually wash my clothes with cold water. That's how they come out so fucking clean. Uh-oh. Complaint center. Philip's plumbing is drunk speaking. Oh yeah, absolutely. I can't stand the guy. And um, 
I have a little issue. I, I'll tell you, first of all, I'm just home out of the hospital, and our water was shut off because they came to shut it, turn it back on, and they said something about the backflow, there was a leak in it, which I sort of knew about, but my daughter-in-law knew about it, didn't tell anyone. Anyway, when they tried to turn it on, it's a leak there, and the meter started spinning or something. I don't understand what she's talking about. I can't even get out there. I'm pretty disabled. But anyway, so we need a plumber, and hopefully, like, either today or sometime tomorrow. Whoops, wait, I just lost this. Um, and, uh, I'm sorry. It, it's gonna, I, I, I can't get out there. I have to figure out a time when my son can be here to take me to it and everything. And I don't, I don't need anybody there, ma'am. I'll get it fixed for you. Do you, are you able to text? Yeah. Can you text, where do you live? Yeah, but I mean in Sarasota, Longboat, where... Oh, I'm sorry, Sarasota, yeah, I'm sorry. All right, well, text me your address. I'll be there this morning before noon, okay? Fantastic, and uh, uh, as far as payment, I can do a debit card or a check, whichever one. That's fine. Okay. Uh, all right, I will, I'll... I will be, I'm sorry, I, I, I can be here, like, at the front door... I well, I'll there. knock, yeah, I'll knock when I, or I'll call you before I come, so that you know I'm, like, within 10 or 15 minutes of being there. Okay, I have, to, I'm going to be out at an appointment, but I'll be back by, like, 10, uh, I'll be back by 10, 10, 10 or something like that. So yeah, that's I'm, fine. All okay. right, I'll You're get awesome. you, I'll get you taken care of. Okay, so I'm going to text my address. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank that's you. Wonderful. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So before you heard the conversation, uh, she said, I was told by a friend of mine that you're a non-MAGA plumber. And I said, you are correct, ma'am. I hate that motherfucking guy. Don't get me going, lady. I charge by the fucking hour. What a fucking clown. We got a bunch of fucking second rate I mean, the people that he is nominating, RFK Jr., half his brain was eaten by a fucking worm. Come on, Dr. Oz. A fucking TV celebrity. What the fuck does he know about the inner workings of Medicare and Medicaid? And then he tried to fucking get old Ben Carson. Ben Token Carson, the token black man, yes, because he sounds like he's white, you know. Ben said, I ain't touching that fucking rail again. I got blasted the last fucking time. It's tough. Donnie's in a tough position because he's fucked everybody who knows anything about government. Uh, he is going to surround himself with this not even second tier, third, fourth tier. He's he's just taking anybody with a pulse who will fucking actually accept the job. Now is his daughter-in-law, Lara, and Ron DeSantis ain't having no part of that. Old Donnie boys trying to put pressure on Ron DeSantis to appoint Lara Trump as a senator. <laughs> She's a sick bitch, man. That's all I can tell you. She's all about... Let's fucking... Let's fuck it all up. Get everything we can. Fuck this country. Uh, Ronnie boy, there's issues between Ron DeSantis and Trump. Ron wants to have an election for a uh, senator. Trump wants him to appoint somebody. So... It's a shit show, guys. It really is. So, I'm hoping that this backflow that's leaking, it's just a relief valve on a double check valve. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna have to put a rebuild kit in this fucking uh, RP device. And they get tricky. If it's 20, 25 years old, if it's a Watt, Wilkins, Watts, uh, 
some of these, you know, some of these off brands, not obviously not Watts and not Wilkins, but uh, you get out there and it's some off brand and basically they need a new fucking check valve, you know, you can't get the parts for it, so. Ah. I tried some new coffee because when I was at uh, Airbnb Pat's house, now Pat's pretty well to do, let me tell you, man. Guy has done very, very well for himself. Great guy. Measured, you know, totally opposite of me. Uh, but a hard, hard worker, determined. Very, very successful. He and his wife, who drives me crazy. I can only imagine what he's doing to her. Fuck, man. What she's doing to him. I mean, that's what I meant to say. But, uh,. He gave me a cup of coffee when I was over there and he said it was Javalier. Javalier. So I went to home, I mean, uh, Publix the other day and they had Javalier coffee on sale. Buy one, get one free. So I jumped all over that shit. Yeah. So I'm drinking upper crust coffee. Yeah. Still tastes like shit. It is smooth, man. It doesn't have that acidy effect. It is smooth, but it's black coffee. It tastes like shit, man. So one guy asked about my hair. Who cuts my hair? I know, it looks fucking good, man. You know who cuts my hair? Me, motherfucker. I'm a badass. It gets a little rough around the back. Sometimes I, I miss some spots, you know. Looks like I got a bad case of fucking mange, but usually I'm pretty good, you know. It's all business in the front, like a mullet in the back. Who knows what the fuck's going on back there? Yep. Uh. So there's really not much on the schedule today, which I need a, a day off. I've got a guest coming in uh, tomorrow at 2 o'clock. I'm going to go buy all new linens and towels for this place. I'm going to strip all of that stuff, and I'm going to bring it and get it washed to see how much it costs to get it washed and folded. And uh, that might be the route that I take. So I'll get this thing down to... Strip it, put the new stuff on, wash the floor, wash all the surfaces, doorknobs included, because we are in COVID fucking uh, mode. You gotta wash every surface, man, with disinfectant. It's a small place. Vacuum, mop the floor, work my way right out that fucking door. Have a nice day. So these Amish people, they rented the place for a month. Now they want the next month, too. And I'm like, I don't know if I can take two months of fucking, you know. Mrs. fucking Butterworth's living across the fucking hall from me, man. I just don't know. Kind of like the, the odds go up, you know, of meeting someone who's very nice. And, you know, maybe we hit it off. Uh, you know. There ain't no chance with fucking an Amish couple been married for fucking 106 fucking years and living in the dark and I just want to know where the fuck they're gonna park their horse and buggy. I don't pick up horse shit. They probably roll up in here on some fucking three-wheel fucking bikes, man. I'll be like, really? Figured out, but they got some bank, man. I mean, it appears they're looking. They spend about ten grand every fucking year to come to Florida for three months, man. They got a little nest egg going there. It's probably all the money they saved on electric. So let's uh, 
get back to a little hater mail before I was rudely interrupted by a goddamn customer. One guy said, next time, tell him to call Mikey Pipes. Yeah, I'll do that. Bend over, motherfucker. Somebody's paying for them fucking front row seats to watch the Brooklyn Nets. Really? Or whatever. What are they? The Bronx Nets? Mikey put a video up. He was on that fucking train. He looked like he was hiding from the public, man. Had his fucking shit pulled down. He was incognito. The motherfuckers will open up a can of fucking kill him on the train. They figure out that's Mikey Pipes with his history. So he's got to be careful when he's out in public. I'm just saying, y'all. Hey, John, I'm a big trash guy. Me too, guy. I cannot drive by a pile of fucking shit on the side of the road without stopping and looking. Uh, we used to have in Rhode Island, they call it spring cleanup. And one time a year in the spring, you were able to bring out anything in your fucking house and put it out in front of the, uh, your house. And that was just fucking picking time. I drive around the neighborhood and my, on my bike like I was yesterday. I was toting. I said I had it on my truck, but it was my bike. I was bringing all that. I had all that shit in one hand, uh, with the fucking lantern on this hand on the on the uh, handlebars. I drove all that shit home, one trip, on my bike. I did end up in the grass one time. Almost fucking bought it, but I got it back under control. Didn't drop anything. I love trash picking, man. This guy, Jeffrey uh, Gilbert. Johnny, there's always time to do it right the first time. Listen, bud, I thought I did it right the first time. You know, I'm sure you're the type of guy who has never fucking made a mistake or something didn't work out for you, you know. I'm not worried about it, bro. I don't put that kind of pressure on myself, man. You know, it ain't nothing. I went there and spent 45 minutes at, at most working for a fucking Trumper, listening to Fox News. He's a fucking miserable prick. No personality. I realize when Republicans... Republicans are, you know, the kids in school that just weren't cool. You know what I mean? I mean, they were fucking boring. Uh, they have no pizzazz, no fucking swag, no nothing. And when they're adults, they're like, hey, hey, wait a minute. I can become a Republican. And then I'm somebody. Yeah. You're still the same fucking boring asshole. You're just a Republican now. Yeah. It appears... That a lot of them... Uh, are sexual deviants. Look that word up. Uh, drug addicts active drug addicts not a great story of how they redeemed themselves look at matt get gates that guy's got so much botox in his face that it doesn't even move from like his right hair up when he talks his face is fucking frozen he looks like a villain in a disney movie i mean with the fucking crazy hairdo uh, the fucking Botox, and just his mouth. And they all know he's a fucking creep. They wouldn't let him close to their kids, if they even have any, you know. Uh, but, Attorney General Matt Gates, Who in the fuck in their right mind would, would nominate a guy like him? 
a Trumper, Trump himself. And the people of Florida probably think it's a great fucking idea. Yeah. I just don't get them. I never will. And unfortunately, Johnny ain't going to stop, you know, bringing it to the forefront. Uh, how fucked up these people really are. They're such fucking hypocrites. Donald Trump, he's got Elon Musk, who is a fucking huge threat to the United States. Uh, he's not here to thank America for letting him, you know, do his shit. He's here to fucking tear the fucking place down. That's their mission. They, get, they want to eliminate the United States government because if they could get this place, this country, and this government eliminated, they could do whatever the fuck they want all over the world. Watch what Donald Trump does with the power you fucking idiots granted this guy. Watch how he plays with our military. A guy with no fucking, uh... No guardrails for the next four years. I mean, I mean, he has the attitude that he's going to be around forever. Uh, but even if it was just his last four years, you know, the second term, they can do whatever the fuck they want because they don't have to worry about re-election. Look at this, guys. It's just such a beautiful morning as I rail on the Republicans. Uh, Raindrops are falling on my head. That doesn't mean the Trumpers will soon be turning dead. Oh, enough for me. Oh, raindrops keep falling on my head. Another great song from back in the motherfucking day. Johnny's got a whole... Uh glossary archive uh, of music from the 60s man probably from 19 I would say all of the 60s I mean it's really the soundtrack of my life you know let's see who sang raindrops have fallen on my head Who sang the song, Raindrops Are Falling On My Head? Raindrops Keep Falling On My Head, original artist re-recording, was recorded by B.J. Thomas. Who sang it in the 70s? Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Wow. So E.J. Thomas was the original guy. Burt Bagarak. Yeah. Tough getting it out. I just love the song, man. Yeah. Anyways, guys, it's it's a uh, Wednesday. It's very cloudy, gray looking. I've got a backflow that is dripping. Hopefully, it's out in the middle of the yard and not buried in a fucking bush somewhere where I end up with a branch up my fucking ass and one poking me in my side while I'm working on it. I'll just cut it down! <laughs> Bella, you better be careful out here. It's slippery. You end up in that pool, you're on your own, kid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck you, too. And you, Gussie. Gussie's like, I didn't mean to shit in the house. Look at this, a little tentative. Yeah, you shit in the house, Guffy. I know you did. We all have to live with it now for two or three days till it dries up. Fuck. All right, guys. It was fun. I missed my morning session yesterday. I enjoy it. I'm having a great time. Things are shaping up here. Uh, been pretty busy. 
doing plumbing and fixing my house at the same time, running a fucking Airbnb, uh, doing YouTube videos, and plumbing at the same time. So Johnny's got a full plate, but I'm enjoying it, man. I'm putting up two, three, four videos a day, and, uh, you know, it's showing in, in the uh, revenue from YouTube. Uh, it's coming back, man. It's all good, and uh, I'll continue to pray for the United States of America. Uh, there's already a rift between Donald Trump and his fucking goofball fucking permanent eyeliner fucking vice president J.D. Vance yeah and his goddamn immigrant wife send her back <laughs> she's probably smarter than all of them just watch how many billionaires he appoints man that's who his family is that's who he runs with not trailer park people He's going to throw you a couple bones. Maybe give you a fucking $1,200 check with, uh, from the government with his f signature on it. You know, throw these, you know, let's spend fucking a couple billion bucks. Get these guys a little bit of cash and we can rob the whole fucking place. Take all the money. Uh, I don't know what the national debt is, but I'm going to start writing things down. Uh, starting today, I'm going to write down where we are, what the numbers are, and what this fucking goofball does to this country. And, uh, these raindrops falling on my head make it a little easier to take, I gotta say. And it's just beautiful, man. I love the way the raindrops are falling in the pool. More than half of America apparently are fucking fools. Raindrops keep falling on my head. That doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red. Crying's not for me. Oh! Raindrop. Something like that, man. I remember that song. Hang on, guys. Listen. Pizza fuck. Have a great day.